Truman Lake Fishing Intel .com presents your latest Truman Lake Fishing Intel Expert Roundtable. Truman Lake Fishing Intel .com is your premier resource for up-to-date expert fishing reports and videos to help you find the fish faster and become a better Truman angler. Multi-species coverage includes crappie, catfish, bass, hybrids, and more. View this month's full episode roundtable exclusively at TrumanLakeFishingIntel.com. This month's roundtable is brought to you by... Anglers Port Marine. Whether you're a first-time boat owner or a seasoned professional, Anglers Port Marine has an option for you. Conveniently located between Clinton and Warsaw on 7 Highway, stop on in to view top industry boat brands including Phoenix, Lowe, and Camus Boats. With their award-winning sales and service, Anglers Port Marine has you covered. Call 660-438-4600 or learn more at anglersportmarine.com. Nini's Italian Steakhouse and Catering. Located in Warsaw near Drake Harbor, Nini's offers a quality menu in the restaurant and with their catering. Show your current paid membership to TrumanLakeFishingIntel.com to the manager and receive a free appetizer the next time you dine in. For all your catering needs from weddings, holiday events, office parties, and more, call Nini's at 660-428-5877 or visit them online at Nini'sItalian.com. Just another nightly rental. Owned by David and Gina Townsend, this lake area rental property located at 32640 Highway 43 in Warsaw is perfect for your next lake getaway. Sleeping up to eight, this home is located perfectly within a short drive to boat ramps on both Truman and Lake of the Ozarks. Weekly discounted rates are available and a welcome meal is provided if booked more than one night. Call now to book your stay. 660-287-7615. And now, let's start the show. Okay, I think that's a pretty good shot right there. Yeah, we're lined up. Oh, yeah. You know what you're doing, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Get lucky every now and then, I guess. Boys and girls, we're here with our first segment for this month's Expert Roundtable. A little bit different, just because we're a little bit behind schedule, and we thought it might be kind of cool to come and sit with these guys on their own turf. And we are here with Richard Bowling. Richard Bowling's guide service and his yellow phoenix in his garage. Just got his house built, this awesome garage for his little workshop and to keep his boat. And uh, we're going to sit here and talk a little crappie fishing, kind of what's been going on around the lake, what to expect here uh, through February. And we're going to break down a little bit of Richard's actual setup um, and talk about some of the baits he's been using here recently as well. Um, so let's, I guess, let's start, Richard. Uh, We've, the fishing report has been pretty similar for the last month or so, um, and I'm assuming it's the same story. Same thing, yep. Just getting in these creeks. Uh, I've been keying on uh, seven, eight foot of water now, just a little bit shallower than what I have been. These fish are back there. I fished the creek right here close to Bucksaw yesterday, and you can see that, well, I didn't put a picture. I just put a big ride mm -hmm. up on Facebook. Um, had our limits in less than two hours, mm -hmm. me and one fella, big crappie. Uh, most of them was 12 to 13 inches, some being bigger. Mm -hmm. Every one of them, or 99% of them was on this bait, which is HD Tackle. And then I switched to this bait, which is just another bait company, David Townsend. And, mm -hmm. um, caught a bunch on it. You know, we just catch and release it after we had our lemons, yep. just right before. And probably caught 60, 70 keepers on them two baits and just kept on the move. Seven foot of water to probably 14 foot. Most of them in seven, eight foot of water. Mm -hmm. It was down six inches to uh, ten foot down. Yeah, so when you, there's barely enough water for you to even drop your bait in on those fish. You cannot see. You know, I run, well, I'll just show. I run my hook and my sinker just like this. Got about an eight inch drop here, and the sinker is actually out of the water. That's what's in the water right there, <laughs> just that jig. And it, it makes it a little bit harder to see with that live scope, yeah. but you can see it. Yeah. Um, and that's how much line was in the water right there. Wow. And 99% of them crappie that we caught up shallow like that and why, I don't know, were a black crappie. Hmm. Good black crappie. And did they eat it pretty quick? And oh, yeah. They, there'd be two and three on a tree, you know, on both sides of it, and they'd fight over it. Mm -hmm. So you had you couldn't really see them get mm -hmm. it like you usually can. Um, you felt it. Mm -hmm. Or you look up and you see a lion plumb over there, so yeah. it set the hook. So let me ask you this. I was talking to Jack Vanderpool earlier. He's been doing some crappie fishing on the lower end. I noticed this last week.